Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to How to Physically Clean Your MacBook Pro Without Knowing How. Because, uh, just like me, when we get too hot, our fans go crazy. So, uh, don't worry, it's simple. Okay, so today we're gonna clean out the insides of a 2015 style, or in my case, a 2012 style <laughs> MacBook Pro. And this method won't actually work if you have the latest 2017 model, mainly because you could just pay someone else to do it. Okay, first things first, make sure that your Mac is turned off and turned over. And now, when it comes to undoing the screws, we're screwed because Apple intentionally uses a proprietary design to stop anyone from tinkering with the insides of their products. Unless you have $5 and an eBay account. Once you've bought a 1.2 millimeter pentalobe screwdriver, start taking out the screws one by one and keep track of where each one goes because some are longer than others and it's hard to see just by looking at them. Similar to people. Okay, take the cover off now and once you're inside, you can have a look at how everything is soldered on and unupgradable. Oh, as well as that beautiful dust that's accumulated. And boy, there's a lot of it. I wonder where it all came from. Hmm, maybe the computer isn't compatible with the Kitai's butt maneuvers. Of course, the safest way to deal with your issues now is a blowjob. And for that, we will need a can of air. It's just like the uh, air around us, except for, um, for $10. You can find compressed air at an office shop or online. Just ask them for the air, asshole. My own personal brand, of course, is the Fluff and Blower. Attach the nozzle and shake well. Now blast the dust away in short bursts, but don't get too close in case it sprays something that looks like water. <laughs> it's elementary, my dear Watson. Just the wrong element. I can see why this costs so much. Also, make sure to hold the fans in place when fluffing and get your freaking head out of the way. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. So let's uh, let's screw this up and hopefully we didn't screw it up. Replace the screws to their original spot, but don't tighten them fully until they're all in place, but then go for it. Okay, we may as well clean the screen and keyboard while we're at it. You can use a little bit of a window cleaner or a bit of water. I recommend, of course, the spritz and cough. The most important thing is to not spritz the computer directly. Instead, spritz into a towel and then just wipe it gently without turning it on. This will depend heavily on your prowess. Well, here goes the moment of truth. Does it still turn on? Oh yes, not only does it work, it's even wiped off macOS High Sierra and installed El Capitan. Wow, got rid of all the junk. And that is how to clean your MacBook Pro without knowing how. For all you Windows users, it's pretty much the same process, but um, might as well chuck some more RAM in while you're at it. And for Linux users, uh, just do what you did yesterday. And until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, stay funky, everyone. Sam Time, signing off. Subscribe today. Funk it down. Making yourself uh, nice and comfortable there, old, old buddy boy. Butt maneuvers are fully engaged. Mm. That's it. <laughs> Press the buttons. That's it. <laughs> Help me edit. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.